to another. It's a matter of time only. It is a matter of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah 22, Ayah 18, وَمَنْ يُحِنِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ مُكْرِمْ وَمَنْ يُحِنِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ مُكْرِمْ Whomever Allah humiliates, he will never have any bestower of honor. He will never have any one to respect him. Allah will humiliate him, and he will be humiliated, and the people will disrespect him. Think of that. Think of that. So that also, another tip for you to think about it. Also, among the tips, always cry, my dear brother and sister. Because we are all human beings. We are not angels. We are not angels. We are not infallible. Every human being can make mistakes. That's what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. كُلُّ بْنِ آدَمْ خَطَّى وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ Every human being is a sinner. Makes mistakes. وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ The best among the sinners التَّوَّابُونَ Those who repent frequently and turn to Allah in sincere repentance. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us among those who always repent. Always repent and turn to Allah every time. Always make istighfar. Astaghfirullah. Rabbi atubu ilayk. Oh Allah, I repent to you. Oh Allah, accept me. Oh Allah, forgive me all the time. Because we are not angels. We do make mistakes. We are human beings. That is our nature. And Allah knows that. And Allah knows the points of our weakness. And any time we turn to him, he accepts us. So never despair. Never give up repenting. So always turn to Allah. And I will mention this true story happened to one of our brothers who was studying in America. And he was a practicing brother. Practicing brother. But his roommates, they were not practicing Muslims, bad Muslims. Naughty boys, roaming around, doing all this filthy stuff. But he was a practicing brother, good brother. So they wanted to spoil him. They wanted to make him like them, to join the club. Because they feel that this brother is better than us. Let us spoil him. And he told me personally, he said, by Allah, everyone came with, his, with a woman with him, and they brought two women for me. Two, not only one two very beautiful women and he said believe me when I saw them I started to shiver to tremble I started to feel weak I was nearly tempted so he said I really the only thing that saved me that I cried I turned to Allah and I rushed to my room and I closed the door he closed the door and he opened the Quran he opened the Quran. He locked the door. And he opened the Quran. Imagine what he read. And the ayah that, that he saw, the first ayah he saw in Surah Al-Rahman. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. This is the ayah when he opened the Quran, the first ayah he read. Hur, the Huris, the female that Allah prepared for the righteous, for the pious in the Jannah. Hur, maqsuratun fil khiyam. They are confined in the tents in the Jannah. Lam yatmithunna insun qablahum wala jan. They were neither touched by jinn nor by human beings. By men. He said, when I read that ayah, I cooled down. So who saved him? Who saved him? Allah. So when you feel weak and you are about to fall into sinfulness, cry and turn to Allah Azza wa Jal. Also, among the tips, inshallah, that we have to, to weigh the pros and cons. The advantages and disadvantages. Okay, if I do this, what will happen? Oh, hellfire after it. So no, 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 I will not do this. So think of the consequences also.
also among the, the tips, insha'Allah, that we should not give up and surrender to our open enemy. Who's our open enemy? Shaitan. Satan is your open enemy. Allah has warned us in many places of the Quran. Inna shaytana lakum adu. Fattakhiduhu aduwa. Verily, Satan is your enemy. So take him as an enemy, not as a friend. Because this shaytan, the crafty guy, what actually, what is his intention? What is his aim and objective? Allah says, إِنَّمَا يَدْعُوا حِزْبَهُ لِيَكُونُ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ Subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Verily, Satan invites his party, his followers, to be the inhabitants of the blaze, the inhabitants of Jahannam. That is his objective. That is his goal. So you should not surrender to your enemy. Seek protection in Allah Azza wa Jal. Seek protection in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you. We will continue insha'Allah the 50 tips of following one's desires insha'Allah in the coming episode. May Allah azza wa jal preserve you and protect you from following the temptations of the cursed one. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.